Welcome to Attleboro Update. One of Attleboro's veterans has been recognized for her decades of outstanding service both in and out of the military. Retired Air Force Colonel Julie Hall was recently presented with the Deborah Sampson Award. The award is given to female veterans with outstanding service and those who continue to support veterans after retirement. We recently spoke with Colonel Hall to learn more about the award and her many years of service. It's the Deborah Sampson Award, and from what I understand the history of Deborah Sampson, she was a woman who joined the military as a man during the Revolutionary War, right in this area. Um, again, from what I understand, she was from Sharon, and there is a monument actually erected for her in Sharon, so I'll have to go visit that someday. But she was a woman who did join as a man in the Revolutionary War. She did get injured at one point in time, and from what history tells us is she removed the uh, musket bullet on her own so that she wouldn't be brought out that she was a man and went back and continued to serve. There came a time when she got injured so badly that apparently she had to be brought to the hospital, at which time they did find out that she was indeed a female. Um, however, they allowed her to stay in the military and the state petitioned for her to get pension. And so she really was one of the first female heroes that actually got a pension in the military. I know that originally it was called the Outstanding Woman Veteran of the Year Award for the state of Massachusetts. So really the actual title is the Deborah Sampson Award for the Outstanding Woman Veteran of the Year for the state of Massachusetts. And of course I won it in 2014. What it does is it focuses on specifically on your service record, the things that you did while you're in the service, but it, they try to focus even more on are you continuing to serve? What are you doing since you've got out of the military? Uh, are you still helping veterans? Are you still involved in your community? So I think it's a great balance. It's actually very validating for someone like myself who has been in the military. You know, you do well, you know when you've done well in the military, as you can see, they give you all kinds of uh, nice things to put on your uniform, so you are validated there. This was an interesting award to get because it does validate that you're also continuing to serve your community well. Hey, Determining or how to be an officer, how to be a military person, and then how to maintain your womanness, if you would, was a real challenge for me for a long time. And again, not having role models other than um, tough, you know, male role models, um, that was a little bit difficult. So uh, another thing I wanted to work on as I got up into the ranks is to help women who, help women integrate them, their womanness, if you would, with their leadership role also. And one thing I used to tell them is that we are not men. We don't want to be men. I mean, you can be fair, you can be equal, but you don't have to be that person. We bring to the table other wonderful skills that aren't there oftentimes with the men. So after 30 years of that discipline and 30 years of always being on call, it was a little bit hard to come back. The first year uh, was the hardest. And I'd lived in Easton, I sort of, um, isolated myself a little bit, so I think that was even harder. But, you know, once I got going, I said, well, I'm really going to find a community that I want to live in, because one of the things you don't get in the military from moving around is you very rarely get an opportunity to find a community. And the most important thing for a veteran is to find a community where they feel welcome and they feel like it's home. And I do have to say, Attleboro has embraced me. I've embraced Attleboro, and this is my home. And I have to tell you the people in Attleboro. So, you know, one of the places I went first was probably to, you know, the VFW, the DAV, and the American Legion, and I joined up with those three groups immediately. I got involved with Rotary, which is something that I had done in the military. At every different base that I went, I had joined the Rotary Club. So one of the things I wanted to do is join the Rotary Club here. So I've been on the Rotary Club for oh, a couple of years now. I am on the Board of Directors. I took over the Sergeant at Arms position. Uh, I met through Rotary, some people that had other organizations like the Literacy Center. I thought the, with the Literacy Center mi mission, Literacy Center's mission was a wonderful mission. So I actually got on the Board of Directors for the Literacy Center. 
I work a lot with the uh, veteran service officer called Bradshaw. We work hand in hand on everything. And one thing I told Carl when I first got here is, if it's got to do with women or anything to do with women and the military, please, I want to be there. So, if, you know, any women veterans that pass away, I want to be there. I uh, told him I will be in every parade I can possibly be in, in my uniform, so that young women that are out here in Attleboro can see that they're, number one, we're women in the military, are women in the military, and that there are high-ranking women in the military. There is nothing that is more rewarding to me, and I don't care if it's one person, if one young woman, woman comes up to me at a school or at a parade and says to me, I want to go in the military, I want to go in the Navy, I want to go in the Army, and that's all they say. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful. Or, or ask me anything about the military. Because sometimes just being there and being in the environment and being out where people can see you speaks louder than any words you could say. So, um, as I said, I'm uh, very, very happy to have received this war award from the state of Massachusetts. It's, it's um, very validating, it's very humbling, um, it's quite an honor, and uh, I hope to, again, like I said, to continue to, to serve Attleboro and to continue to serve the state of Massachusetts.